Welcome. In my last video, I addressed how to convert an outline to an APA style headings in a document, and then the text can just be inserted between the headings. It's a technique that I use to simplify uh, writing of formal papers. In this video, I'd like to address how I use Zotero to insert citations and their complementary reference entries into a formal document. So what I'm displaying here on the screen is a simplified version of the document that I had demonstrated in my last video. I'm just showing the first paragraph, the introduction to the paper. But in this paragraph, there is a statement that I've made that requires identification of the source from which I got the information to make my claim. And this is an important component of formal argumentation. It's not just what I think or what my opinion is, but can I present my conclusions, my thoughts, in a manner in which I am relying on expert information, or better said, information from experts. So, my first sentence, a theory is plausible or scientifically acceptable system of information by which accepted knowledge may be used to explain and predict characteristics of phenomena. Now, this requires citation to two sources from which I gathered information that allowed me to make that statement. The first is an article by Bordens and Abbott. The second is a paper from the National Academy of Sciences. So, normally, the citation for that would look like this. Bordens and Abbott and I think they wrote their paper in 2013, and National Academy of Sciences, and I think, if I recall, that was written in 2012. So that's an APA-style citation that identifies two sources in a single citation. Now, while I'm capable of typing that, I have to now also type the complementary reference entries. And that's a little bit too much for me to keep track of in my head. So I'm going to use my Zotero database and the integration between Microsoft Word and the Zotero application to automatically insert citations and then create the necessary references. So I'm going to delete my parenthetical data here and instead use the Zotero menu here in Microsoft Word to add or edit a citation to Borden's and my database search automatically finds the Borden's and Abbott article and good thing I did this because I had remembered the year of publication incorrectly. It's really 2014. And I also want to search for National Academy of Sciences. And that was my article, The Evolution Resources. And I also had remembered the year of publication of that article incorrectly. And then I'll finish my sentence with a period, space. Now, I still have a properly formatted and now textually correct uh, citation within my paper. If I scroll down to the beginning of my references page, I can, instead of manually typing the two reference entries that complement those citations, 
I can use Zotero to insert the references automatically by just using the Zotero menu in Microsoft Word and clicking Add or Edit Bibliography. You briefly saw the Zotero database load on the screen and then disappear. And what I'm left with are two properly formatted reference entries that complement the citations in my document. Now, not only did I save some work here, I actually can prevent a problem that frequently occurs when editing documents. Now, if I go back to this citation and I realize that it should not be both Borden's and Abbott and the National Academy of Sciences, it should only be Borden's and Abbott, I can click on that citation, edit it, delete National Academies of National Academy of Sciences and I'm left with just Borden's and Abbott and when I look at my references page the complementary reference to the National Academy of Sciences report is automatically removed from the references list if in continuing to edit, I wish to insert a citation here. The citation appears within the text of my paragraph and the reference reappears on the references page. So there's really no trickery going on here. This is a database program that's available for free at Zotero.org and it integrates very well with Microsoft Word making it much easier to insert citations and their complementary reference entries into a uh, Microsoft Word document. I think I'll leave it at that for now. You can find, you can download the Zotero software at Zotero.org. It integrates well with Microsoft Word. I don't know that it integrates well with web-based uh, word processors, such as Google Docs, uh, but I have used it with LibreOffice. I've integrated it into Scrivener um, with a little bit of problems, but often I do my writing in Scrivener, I bring it over to Microsoft Word for formatting, and it's in Word that I add these citations and let Zotero automatically create the reference entries. In a future video, I'll describe in detail how to, in, how to configure Zotero and how to add accurate information to Zotero when conducting research in um, an academic library or public um, websites. Um, including Google Scholar, which is commonly used for academic research. But for now, I'll leave this as a teaser to just whet your appetite and try to encourage you to download Zotero and try using it for yourself to see if you can see the benefit of having a database of all your research material that integrates well with Microsoft Word and makes it both easier and faster to insert citations and their complementary reference entries. In the meantime, I wish you very happy academic writing. Bye for now.